Senate Bill 7026, uh, Safe, Safe Schools, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Public Safety Commission, and the work that uh, we've been able to accomplish over the last nine, ten months uh, in, in making our kids safer. There are so many places to start with uh, mental health services uh, to school districts and their responsibilities in regards to lockdowns and evacuations and how we deal with an active assailant uh, to law enforcement's response and uh, you know the may versus shall enter into an active assailant and to engage the subject not waiting on backup you have to engage you have to be prepared uh, mentally physically and spiritually to deal with that and so it just has helped us uh, fine-tune our active assailant policies uh, that we, we can't ever let this happen again. And, and the whole mental health services and how we identify these individuals that are violent and dangerous and uh, <clears throat> mentally disturbed uh, is important. We've increased our ability to, to take mentally disturbed individuals and, and prevent them from obtaining or possessing firearms with a request for protection orders, which was in that Senate bill that passed. Uh, all the way to the kind of locks we use in schools and the policies on, regarding having doors and exterior perimeter doors and gates either monitored or locked so that uh, individuals just can't come in to and fro on our campuses without anybody knowing or challenging them. Um, so the key is, is first and foremost prevention. You got to be able to identify and prevent, uh, but also response. Once, God forbid, these things happen, we have to have a much better response. Uh, to help mitigate some of the, the loss of life. I mean, it, it devastates families and communities and, and states and a country when these kind of things happen. And, uh, you know, everybody's just looking for the answer. And I think this commission, very, very intelligent folks, uh, some of the family members who lost loved ones uh, are on this commission. Uh, a lot of smart people throughout the state are on it. I'm honored that Governor Scott asked me to, to serve on it and, uh, in Tallahassee, and uh, so our, our report will come out in the beginning of uh, January, given to the governor and the Senate president and uh, Speaker of the House, and followed by the legislative session to take our recommendations and, and do what they will with them. Um, I think it will be very, very important work, and uh, very proud of the work that, that was able to be accomplished there. Uh, and we were, the RSROs were kind of ahead of the curve on a lot of this. Uh, we, we were one of the few counties in the state that had school resource officers in every school, elementary, middle, and high school. So uh, uh, we, we did that after Sandy Hook. And so we were well ahead of the rest of the state in, in that regard.